Cooking Thanksgiving dinner can be a challenge, even if you're an experienced chef. But when you're juggling a house full of guests and a complicated meal, that fun holiday tradition can quickly turn into a real fire hazard. Joining us now to uh, help us get through the holiday safely, we've got Michael McClear, the president of Escape Fire Safety with us. Thank you so much for being here with us. We, Thanks for having me in. Of course, we really need to talk about this because people are making their dinner plans. They're thawing out the turkey now to get ready for Thursday. And uh, unfortunately, even though we think of you know this, this big meal on Thanksgiving, a lot of fires happen that day as well. They do. It's the number one day of the year for cooking fires. Yeah. We're thinking of family, we're mm -hmm. thinking of friends, and we're not necessarily thinking of fire safety. So we'll go through some key points here. Okay. If we have people using turkey fryers, we ask that they use them outdoors, mm -hmm. on a level surface, not on decks, okay. and not near homes, not in the garage, because if for some reason that pot of boiling oil were to catch fire, mm -hmm. we don't want to have uh, a problem where our holiday festival mm -hmm. turns into tragic times. Also, the propane-fired turkey fryers don't have temperature lim limiting, so they can overheat. If you start to see that oil smoke, turn mm -hmm. off the heat source. That mm -hmm. means that oil's getting too hot and it's very close to ignition. It's very close to catching fire. Okay. Never put a frozen turkey in that turkey fryer. Mm -hmm. That ice, the frozen uh, parse pieces of the turkey will actually cause that uh, oil to bubble over. Yeah, I think we've all seen that kind of dramatic video of when it it's done the wrong way and the fire just kind of explodes. Absolutely. So we definitely don't want to see that happen. Uh, we know the kitchens will be busy places. There might be kids running through. Uh, what's the advice there when it comes to keeping them away from the stove and, and safe this holiday? Absolutely. We always recommend a three foot kid free zone away from anything that's hot. That could be the stove. Mm -hmm. It could be the oven. It could be hot foods that we're traveling. And also don't forget about our pets. They get under feet. True. Yeah. We want to make sure that's not a trip hazard. If we have a fire on the stove, turn the burner off, put a lid on the pan. Never mm -hmm. ever put water on a grease fire. Putting a lid or a cookie sheet over that pan will smother the flames and then you can get everybody out of the home and call the fire department if necessary. And one of the things yeah. that just recently happened, we had one of our fire department partners contact me last week. They had a resident in an apartment actually start the self-cleaning feature in her oven. Uh -huh didn't clean the grease up and the oven caught fire. There was a fire that actually wow. started inside the oven. If you have an oven fire, mm -hmm. leave the oven door closed, make sure you get everybody outside, call 911 and we'll make sure that everything's safe. But clean those grease areas mm -hmm. up. There was an accumulation of grease in the bottom of that oven. Self-cleaning is great, but we need to make sure we take some precautions. Right, these are such great reminders before Thursday. I mean, because the goal here is we want to allow firefighters to celebrate the holiday with their families and not with ours. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And lastly, always making sure we're testing and maintaining those working smoke alarms. We've seen a spike in home fires. We've seen sure. a spike in fatal fires. We're at 102 fire fatalities. So far here in Michigan, many in West Michigan, mm -hmm. working smoke alarms double our chance of surviving yeah. home. Fire. Okay, and save lives.